In this question, we've been asked to um, enlarge the triangle T by a scale factor of 3, and we've been given a centre of enlargement of 0, 0. So I'm going to start by marking my centre of enlargement, which is there. That's at the origin. OK, to enlarge by a scale factor of 3, what I'm going to do is I'm going to um, enlarge each point one at a time. So, for example, this point here is 0 across from my centre of enlargement and 1 up. So I'm going to times that by 3, so it's going to be, instead of 0 across and 1 up, it's going to be 0 across and 3 up. So 1, 2, 3, and that point is now there. This one over here is 3 across and 1 up. So instead of 3 across and 1 up, by scale factor of 3, we're going to go 9 across and 3 up. 1, 2, 3, by scale factor of 3. This third point here is 3 across and 2 up. So instead of going 3 across and 2 up, I'm going to times that by 3, which is going to be 9 across and 2, 4, 6 up. And that's going to be there. I can now draw in my triangle. And it's going to look like this here. And just as a final check, I will check that that has got a base of 3. This is, should have a base of 9, because it's an enlargement by a scale factor of 3, which it has. This has a height of 1, and this should have a height of 3, which it has. So I'm happy that that's going to be correct. OK, the second part of this question, um, it says, On the grid, rotate shape S by 180 degrees about the point 1, 1. OK, so for this question, you should have some tracing paper, which I haven't got here. Um, but I'm going to start by marking my um, centre of rotation, which is at 1, 1. And we need to rotate this whole shape 180 degrees. So if you've got your tracing paper, you want to trace this shape. And then you want to put your pencil down on the centre of rotation. And then you can actually rotate your tracing paper 180 degrees and what you should find I'll do it in a different colour here that this point will end up here and um, the rest of your shape should end up looking something like this here OK, um, and that's what the image of your original shape S should look like. OK, thanks very much for joining me. I'll see you next time.